Good morning, Grok. What's the weather going to be like in Erie County, New York today? Good morning. For today in Erie County, New York, expect partly cloudy skies with a high around 54 degrees Fahrenheit. There's a chance of showers tonight with lows near 48 and light northerly winds. Great, thanks. Hey, Grok, as I'm coming down 190 South, there's all kind of electrical wires. What's going on? Why is there so much here? Those electrical wires along Interstate 190 South are part of the infrastructure to transmit power across the region. They're likely tied to local utility networks or recent projects to support increased energy demands, especially near industrial or urban areas like Buffalo. No specific info points to recent developments right along 190, but the area's history with projects like the abandoned New York Regional Interconnect suggests ongoing efforts to maintain or expand transmission lines for cleaner energy goals. Could just be standard utility lines for the city's needs. Anything specific catch your eye about them? No, but I see something else up ahead. Right near exit 23 on 190 South, I see what looks like an artificial mountain maybe or man-made mountain right off the highway what is that that's likely the niagara power vista a visitor center with a raised viewing platform that overlooks the niagara power project a massive hydroelectric facility completed in 1961 near lewiston near exit 23 there's also the robert moses niagara power plant reservoir a prominent landmark with embankments that might resemble an artificial hill from a distance. However, there's no man-made mountain per se in that area. It could be the reservoir's elevated structure or nearby landscaping creating that impression. If it's something else, like a mound or construction, could you describe it a bit more? It's not exactly a mountain, but the area's got some unique sites. You're pretty close, but I think this is maybe a landfill. Oh, you're probably right. It could be a landfill near exit 23 on Interstate 190 South. In that area, there's no major landfill directly at exit 23, but you might be seeing the North Buffalo Transfer Station or a similar waste management site nearby, which can look like a big mound from the road. Landfills often have that artificial hill vibe due to piled up earth and waste. If it's got that distinct look with maybe some equipment or fencing, that's likely it. Want me to dig into any specific landfill details for you? Perhaps. I see on top of the landfill a sign that said Montante Solar, and I see solar panels. What can you tell me about that? Montante Solar's been working on landfill solar projects in this area, turning Cape's landfills into renewable energy sites. Those solar panels you're seeing are likely part of a 13-megawatt community solar project by Calibrant Energy, with Montante Solar handling development and Castillo Engineering providing design support. These setups use fixed tilt, ballasted installations to generate clean energy on land that's otherwise tough to reuse. It's part of New York's push to lead in community solar capacity, aligning with state goals for six gigawatts of photovoltaic solar by 2025. Pretty cool way to repurpose a landfill, right? Want more specifics on this site or its impact? No, because now I'm coming up to the Grand Island Bridge and I'm on 190 South. I'm just going over from like Niagara Falls to Grand Island. What Does that bridge have a name? Yes, that bridge is officially called the Niagara River Bridge, but it's more commonly known as the Grand Island Bridge. Actually, there are two bridges. The North Grand Island Bridge, which you're likely crossing now, heading south from Niagara Falls to Grand Island, and the South Grand Island Bridge further along. They connect the mainland to Grand Island over the Niagara River, part of Interstate 190. Pretty iconic structures around here. Anything else catching your attention as you cross? How tall is the North Grand Island Bridge? The North Grand Island Bridge has a total length of about 3,437 feet, but specific height data for the bridge itself isn't readily available. Its truss arch design suggests a clearance height for river traffic below, likely around 100 feet or so, based on similar bridges. If you're asking about the height above the Niagara River, it's a bit tough to pin down exactly without more details. 
Maybe describe what you're seeing, and I can refine the answer. No, that's okay. Hey, Grok, what year did they take out the toll booths here? The toll booths on the Grand Island bridges, like the one you're near, were replaced with cashless open road tolling on March 29th, 2018. The physical booths started coming down in phases shortly after, with the process taking a few weeks. Nice. I see the Welcome New York Center building thing is here on Grand Island. What a strange location. What year did they build that? The Western New York Welcome Center on Grand Island was built and first opened in August 2018. It's a state-of-the-art facility designed to promote tourism with a taste and wine market and a Frank Lloyd Wright inspired look. The location's a bit off the main highway, which some folks find odd, but it's meant to draw visitors to explore more of Western New York. It's not exactly a mountain, but it's a standout spot. Anything else you're noticing nearby? I noticed that no one's ever there and it's the silliest location of all time. What do you think? <sighs> I can see why you'd find it odd. It's true the Welcome Center can feel like a ghost town sometimes. Its spot on Grand Island, off the beaten path, doesn't screen prime tourist stop. It was a bold choice to plop it there, meant to draw folks into exploring Western New York. But I bet the quiet vibe and tucked away location make it seem like a bit of a head scratcher. Maybe they were going for scenic, but got, where is everybody, instead. What makes it feel so silly to you today? Uh, cause this state is pretty stupid sometimes. Alright, uh, you did great today, thank you. Glad I could help. Thanks for chatting. You're welcome anytime. Safe travels out there.